Tell about his working with leading companies in the area of vectored VDSL2 testing. And what we wanted to do was put a demonstration together for what the telephone companies are providing to their customers. So what we have is an IPTV, IPTV multicast streaming demonstration to 42 homes on a street. So we're working with Alcatel, Lucent, ADB, Sagemcom, and Expo to provide the uh, gateways and the DSLAM and the test equipment to actually test and demonstrate a real live application. So as you see here, we also have the Aeroflex TerraVM streaming video. We're going through the Alcatel Lucent DSLAM, through the Telebyte uh, cable plant with noise injection, and then we have 42 homes here that we're streaming video, HD video, to about 200 televisions, so simulating a, a neighborhood. And what we have then here is the Telebyte equipment where we're injecting cable plant defects, and also noise monitoring the crosstalk on the line to look at the, the mean um, opinion score, the quality of the video. So it's sort of an end-to-end -end, uh, demonstration. Expo has very good handheld and portable test equipment for installation and maintenance to actually analyze the noise and the, the physical layer of the DSL lines. With vectoring uh, VDSL2, you want to be able to look at the noise, the rain, the RFI, the attenuation of the line to make sure that the line looks as uh, like what you're expecting to help find problem, problematic lines. This demonstration is about a vectoring interoperability setup where we deliver the vectoring gear and our expertise to make it all uh, working in terms of the configuration of the DSLAM. It's our top of the top of the art uh, vectoring equipment approved by many operators installed in net, ma many networks and it's also our expertise on how to really use it in difficult conditions by configuring all of the uh, features like G.INP, SRA while still having optimal performance for an end-to-end -end delivery. Interoperability is important for our customers, so it's also important for us. They want to have a free choice of CPE, and we're helping them with that, which means that we always force our chipset vendors to have an interoperable solution, and we're facilitating and also interoperability with the other vendors, like you see here on the boot, um, by ensuring that the chipset guys work together and that you come to a full end-to-end -end solution. We're very active in that, also in standardization, not only on vectoring, but also on GFAST, where actually Frank van der Putten will be the editor on uh, the GFAST certification track. We are a provider of VDSL CP for small business application, which interoperate on a vectoring, vector VDSL in this test setup with multiple vendor equipment. So this is an end-to-end -end demonstration that uh, VDSL vectoring can work in a multi-vendor scenario. There are multiple CPEs, multiple test equipments, as well as uh, DSLAM. Our equipment is uh, supporting VDSL vector standard, as well as the X4 test uh, devices. So actually, we provide a consistent uh, results between the two devices. The X4, in our 30 years of history, we always commit to provide to our customer the best tool in order for them to deploy and troubleshoot their latest technology in the field. And this is true also for today application like a VDSL2 vectoring system, where interoperability is very important and where the, you have some specific problem and you need a professional tool to find this. Here you have uh, our two main products for this field, where with uh, one product you can emulate the modem of the customer. In this case, uh, you have uh, the unit connected to a real VDSL2 vectoring system and you can prove the quality of the system itself. So you have a control of it. And then we have another product, the FTB1, that is a professional tool to capture and analyze the impulse noise that is one of the most biggest problem that you have today on a VDSL2 vectoring. So you are no more blind to this type of problems.